Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Jim Wilson's FNN Fishing News Network. And I'll tell you something, there's nothing like going home except when you get there and find out that while you were gone, they tore the house down and they built this elegant palace and you don't recognize anything. I just happened to be sitting in the WMBB News Room right here where I spent about 27 years doing my TV shows and trust me, it has changed and just it's incredible now. The technology and the sheer beauty of the place is it, it's just overwhelming. It's the first time I've really had a chance to be in it and see it firsthand like this. And of course, you see they're on the air with their new, they have a cooking location. I wish they'd had that when I was here because I love to cook as I will be telling you later with Pat doing all the heavy lifting. Now I do all the cooking and grocery shopping and uh, I love to cook, but it's just so great to be back here. It's kind of like an old home day and we're gonna be talking with Justin Kiefer who's a weather person here at Channel 13, along with the rest of the team. And there's a lot of things about weather that make it so important to number one, be prepared for, and number two, find out and try to understand before you go fishing or participate in other outdoor activities, whether it's fishing, hunting, whatever it is, weather is gonna have some impact on how we do it and how we plan for it is what's very, really important. For example, to know what to do if we have an advance notice of severe storms coming and you have a boat. You may not have ever thought about this, but if you don't have your boat set up in such a way that water can really drain out of it and you get a heavy rain, I've seen it actually blow the tires on trailers because a person lets the boat sit there, fill up with water, and now suddenly either the tires go flat or it, it blows the tires. So all of these kind of things are stuff you wanna be very alert and aware of and be watching, especially on WMBB to get first hand up to date weather. And that's something we're gonna be talking with Justin Kiefer about and find out exactly how it works. Speaking of which, let's not forget our tides for today because tides are so important. You saw last week's show and we talked about all the good fish that Pat and I and my friend Mel Bankhead and Noel Stafford caught. And it was so crazy. Everything weather-wise was absolutely perfect. We had this strong incoming tide all morning with high tide somewhere around noon to one o'clock. Guess what? We were anchored up on a spot five miles off the beach. Bam, we had a fish, somebody had a fish, some kind of fish coming up all the time. Right when that tide changed, the fishing, it just stopped. It was as if there, there was a, a stopwatch on them or something that said, okay, fish, it's time to stop biting. And I absolutely think it had to do with the tide because tide has just as much effect on the fishing outside in the open gulf as it does in the pass or going up into a bayou or wherever else you go. And uh, it, it, you'll, if, if you are on the water enough, as I have been over the years, you'll see this happen. If you're gonna be fishing the pass and you wanna have one of the very best days, find a period when you've got a very strong incoming tide that's gonna be low around six, five, six, seven in the morning, and then high later in the day so that you're gonna have that tide coming in all day long. And what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be going out in your boat, out past the jetties into the open water, and then you're gonna be drifting with the tide back through the pass and do something we call finesse the bottom. You wanna be fishing around the boat, whatever number of people, so you stay out of each other's lines, but you want enough weight that your line will go straight down. You don't want it dragging out because it'll drag the bottom and hook up on trash and things. You wanna drop it down until it touches bottom. And you wanna keep watching that depth machine. If you start out in 40, 45 feet, and then you see it dropping down to 50, 55 feet, let more line out, get back to the bottom. If you see it at 40, 45 feet, and suddenly it's moving up to 40, 35, 30 feet, reel in. That's called finessing. You're finessing that bottom and you're using that tide range 
to help you do it. So that's the best way to understand what's going on there. Now, as I say, in our household, I do all the cooking, all the grocery shopping, because Pat does all the heavy lifting. And where do you think I go? Tanya's garden. All that fresh stuff. We just hired out a little five-year-old granddaughter for four days. And what she wanted to eat every morning? Blueberries or strawberries. Where'd we get them? Fresh blueberries now are in at Tanya's. They are so unbelievably good. And so then right after that, the corn. She loved corn on the cob and all those great things. Tanya's is right across the street from Sowell Tractor on Highway 77, just before you get to Haney Vocational School. And finally, I'm gonna get over to AMW Trailers and pick up my new 17-foot flat back canoe and start getting out into some of this water and looking for the trout and getting up into some fresh water and looking for some bass because at last we'll be able to go out and do that because they've just put a new trailer under it. They've been there since the 50s, building trailers, aluminum, galvanized, all the parts, any kind of repairs. I've been Dumbo on all of those and thank goodness they bail me out every time because they know exactly what to do. Well, when we come back from this break, we're gonna be joined with Justin Kiefer from WMBB and find out some answers to your questions about how to, how to use the weather to your advantage and how to keep an eye on it so you'll be safe. For everything you need on or off the water, visit the Panama City and St. Andrews Marinas. Both locations provide you with easy access boat slips, ramps, fuel, bait, and tackle. Come visit our ship stores and see our unique nautical gifts and clothing. Or just relax with a cool drink and grab a snack while watching the boats come in. Don't forget that Mariner on your shopping list. Come by and see our unique nautical gifts, cards, and clothing at Panama City or St. Andrews Marina. Call 872-7272 for more information. Meet Henson Hindenburg, King of the Road at Baytown Tire, 2609 West 15th Street, just before the curve. For 20 years, he's taken care of your cars, trucks, and commercial vehicles. Baytown Tire carries tires including Michelin, Yokohama, BF, Goodrich, and Uniroyal. A new set gets free rotation every six months. Alignment is done on the latest digital equipment, and his diagnostic can read all your computer info for proper repairs. All his service folks are ASC certified. Give him a call today at 873-8900. Hi folks, Larry Lee here at Corning Bullion Reserves. The Swiss government has requested that the Federal Reserve return to it all of the gold bullion which it has long had deposited at Fort Knox. Do they know something you and I don't? Well, I think I do know. And I think it may be time for you to consider buying some gold and silver too. And no one will sell you gold and silver cheaper than Coin and Bullion Reserves. And you can take that to the bank. Coin and Bullion Reserves. How will the new health care regulations affect you? Call Mike Nichols at Nichols & Associates, your local Florida blue agency for the answers. Stop by today or call 747-0288. Need a storage shed, pole barn, or garage? Who do you call? Two-time site-built buildings. They come completely prefabbed with aluminum siding and three-quarter inch floors. Constructed on your property by James McConnell and his crew. With no middleman, his prices is lower, with easy payment terms, here's my 12 foot by 20 foot shed that went through a three foot gate and anchored like a mobile home. He's been building here for 15 years. See the samples at 3822 Highway 98 in Springfield and call today at 850-257-5729. When you want your lawn to go from this to this, you need to call Leroy Dennis and his helper Bill Grimes. They can do it in one day. Not only that, but Leroy offers discounts to seniors and active and former military. He and his partner can handle any commercial jobs. Don't wait to give them a call at 358-6696. Guess what? If you aren't satisfied, I'll pay for it myself. Don't delay. Call the experts now and look great tomorrow. Well, folks, I told you I'm back in here in my old alma mater. <laughs> it's just changed so much. It's, as I said, of course, I'm here with Justin Kiefer. Uh, it's, it's like when I went left my old home and then came back and they <laughs> tore it down and built a palace. Well, it, it's it's an amazing place to work now, it really is. And yeah. and I, I'm sure you And good you to like. have you back, it's good to see you. Well, thank you, yeah. it's great to see you. You yeah. guys do such a fantastic job. 
and you know, I've spent 28 years in this place. I know it, I know it. You know, they, they, over the last year, they really began the, the transformation of the entire uh, studio. Right. It was a year ago in June. So yep, I know. We've been, we've been in our new home for about a year, new weather equipment this year, it's been pretty good. You have more influence over our fishing <laughs> than almost anything else. And I don't mean what you do to the weather, yeah. but how much weather influences when we can go, how long we can stay, or how we need to be prepared. I, I, I've said, you know, you say you have a line to be on this side of the grass. I have a line that I use a lot. I, I am in sales, not production. If when it comes to weather, you know, the production's being taken care of by somebody else. But I understand what you're saying. If, if, if I have a forecast that might not be a, a conducive one to go fishing, uh, you know, that, or, or, or hunting or whatever, I understand that many people rely upon a good and accurate forecast to make their outdoor plans, whether Absolutely. it's the next day or perhaps it's a week out. I had someone call me uh, a week out. Uh, it, was a, it was a Friday, and they want to know the next Friday, because some people were coming into town, if the offshore fishing was going to be fine. Well, a week is pushing accuracy. I mean, yeah. It really is. But so many people are, are really dependent on that. Well, you see, the thing is, we have so many people that fish in, when I say small boats here, uh, a boat up to 25, 28 feet would be classified as a small boat because it can be trailered and launched at the city marina, St. Andrews Marina, St. Andrews State Park. We have so many places to launch around here, and that's small boat fishing. If those double red flags are flying on the beach, hmm. you're not going to be going out in a small boat very far. You know, and that's an interesting point because, you know, that, that double red is for the beach conditions, the yeah. surf and the, and the, and the, uh, and the undercurrent and the, the rip risk and things like that. But the weather conditions that are producing double red flags on the beach are going to be just, you know, they're going to be so significantly severe offshore as well. Exactly, my point. Yeah. And so it, it really pays to, uh, to see what those and, and reflect on them. And uh, my advice always is to be prepared for changes in weather. Yes. If you see a severe thunderstorm with lightning, I don't want to be, I don't know, but I don't want to be on the water. Well, the, and the thing about the, the thunderstorms, and I've always had this conversation, not only with, with boaters, but with golfers as well, yeah. is that you know, if, if you can hear the thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Yes. Because lightning can leave the side of thunderstorms and strike 10 miles away from the base. Yeah. And through clear air, you hear the bolt from the blue. That's not just a, 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 a colloquialism. That's the truth. Oh, lightning I, can come out the side of it. You've seen it out on the water. Absolutely. And strike the water or strike anywhere. It doesn't have to be the tallest object. Coincidentally, we have more people killed by lightning in Florida right. playing golf than any other state. And, they, and any other weather-related event. Yes. You know, no hurricanes or tornadoes. Lightning is the number one. Yeah, it really truly is. I saw an incident a few weeks ago that just scared me to death. It was while actually when we were producing the show down at St. Andrews Marina. There's a heavy thunderstorm coming. You can see lightning close by. Here's a man and his son fishing in the rain right over against that steel rail. Oh, yeah. Now, is that asking for trouble? You're, you're, yeah, you're right. You're, you're putting yourself in a position like that. And, and any time when you're near one of those storms, winds can go up 30 and 40 miles per hour yeah. in an instant. And if you're in a smaller boat, that's But here's that steel rail going oh, yeah. all the way around. It's the, a conduit if it hits for electricity. Anywhere, you're absolutely right. It's going to hit you. That's absolutely right. I have a, a story I'll relate to maybe at a later time about being struck by lightning because of something very similar to that. You were struck by lightning? I was, I was close enough to, to, to smell it. Wow. <laughs> so, well, we'll get into that in a minute. That's like being close enough to a water moccasin to smell the musk. All right, we're going to take our break right here and say welcome to Mike Nichols, our, one of our new sponsors, and be back with more. Let's find out what Justin's got to say about the weather. All right that you can't do anything about. That's what Mark <laughs> Twain said. Hi folks, Larry Lee here at Coin and Bullion Reserves. The Swiss government has requested that the Federal Reserve return to it all of the gold bullion which it has long had deposited at Fort Knox. Do they know something you and I don't? Well, I think I do know. And I think it may be time for you to consider buying some gold and silver too. And no one will sell you gold and silver cheaper than Coin and Bullion Reserves. And you can take that to the bank. 
Pete Henson Hindenburg, King of the Road at Baytown Tire, 2609 West 15th Street, just before the curve. For 20 years, he's taken care of your cars, trucks, and commercial vehicles. Baytown Tire carries tires including Michelin, Yokohama, BF, Goodrich, and Uniroyal. A new set gets free rotation every six months. Alignment is done on the latest digital equipment, and his diagnostic can read all your computer info for proper repairs. All his service folks are ASC certified. Give him a call today at 873-8900. The Captain Anderson makes fishing a breeze. There's a galley on board and your comfortable trip is all inclusive. Rod, reel, tackle, bait, and your fishing license. The traditional all-day trip from 7 to 5 p.m. Come aboard the Captain Anderson for a relaxing day of bottom fishing. There's plenty of room, so bring the whole family. It's a whopping big adventure, and that's no fish tail. The Captain Anderson is located at Captain Anderson's Marina where the fish are always biting and the kids are always smiling. Please call for cruise schedules. When was the last time you took a few minutes out of your busy schedule to enjoy the simple things? The wide open spaces, the uncharted territory, the moments that seem to stick with you for a lifetime. Well, what are you waiting for? Half hitch, get out there. How will the new health care regulations affect you? Call Mike Nichols at Nichols & Associates, your local Florida blue agency for the answers. Stop by today or call 747-0288. Need a storage shed, pole barn, or garage? Who do you call? Two-time site-built buildings. They come completely prefabbed with aluminum siding and three-quarter-inch floors. Constructed on your property by James McConnell and his crew. With no middleman, his prices is lower, and with easy payment terms. Here's my 12-foot by 20-foot shed that went through a three-foot gate and anchored like a mobile home. He's been building here for 15 years. See the samples at 3822 Highway 98 in Springfield and call today at 850-257-5729. When you want your lawn to go from this to this, you need to call Leroy Dennis and his helper Bill Grimes. They can do it in one day. Not only that, but Leroy offers discounts to seniors and active and former military. He and his partner can handle any commercial jobs. Don't wait to give them a call at 358-6696. Guess what? If you aren't satisfied, I'll pay for it myself. Don't delay. Call the experts now and look great tomorrow. Well, it's such a pleasure to be back in my old alma mater here with Justin Kiefer. Good to and see you. Good to see you. Uh, and as uh, our producer here, uh, Jay, says, we need to stick to talking about the weather. <laughs> and of course, we're right in the start of hurricane season That's here. Right. And what, what words of advice have you got for people to start just basic preparation of things to do? I think the most important thing that you can do is, is have a plan. Just ha make a plan of something and then stick to it when something happens. And I mean, um, what are you going to do with your boat? What are you going to do with your family? You know, uh, you should always have a full tank of gas. You know, even though you might get sort of, okay, there's no storms coming, I don't need a full tank of gas. It gets down to a half tank, fill it up. Because, and then get cash. Because if, if the power goes out, you're not going to get gas and you're not going to get cash. Yeah. So those are kind of like, have a plan. Um, what it, what will you do if and then just draw, and then plan it out if the storm goes west of here and we don't lose power what will you do well, I'm not gonna do anything if it comes right at us and it's a cat three what are you gonna do plan for any type of event but make the plan I think is more important than just say well I'll take care of it when it gets here what you know I, I use the term spitball spitball it out yeah. you know figure out what you're gonna do where are you gonna go contact your friend and Dothan or Montgomery or Atlanta. Hey, I'm coming if a storm comes. Fine, we'll work everything out if it ever happens. But make the plan is number one. And you know something a lot of people don't realize, they've got a huge water supply right at their house, emergency if they need to, in their hot water heater. Oh yeah, you 50, know? 60, 70 gallons perhaps. Exactly. Uh, uh, it's, and it's, it's not gonna get rancid. No, and it's yeah. pure drinkable water. Right. Uh, we happen in my household, we happen to subscribe to Culligan so we always have plenty of Culligan jugs around. But I think it's a good idea to have plenty of potable water. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and if you don't use it during hurricane season, 
you know, if what can store, store it, yeah. then use it. Yeah. And then just redo it again next May or whenever the, you know, before Keep the Keep your starts. propane tanks full That's for right. your for your grill. C cooking on gas grill if uh, you have no power. One of the storms a few years ago, I cooked for my neighbors because I had the grill and we had plenty of good food. It, it's, I was at the uh, VA clinic out at the Navy base just oh, yeah. uh, this past week, uh, sp speaking to their service employees as well as some of the patients. Uh, exactly this about preparations. When the Navy has to do something with with the base, what mm -hmm. are they going to do? What what will they get from me in regard to information? What comes from the Hurricane Center? That kind of stuff. So it, everybody has it on top of mind. That's the best thing. Well, and of course, we have so many problems with connections of bridges here. Oh I mean, yeah, we're, we're surrounded. <laughs> it's like we live on islands almost. Well, it just about is. And knowing the uh, the director of traffic, as I do, if the winds get to 50 sustained, they they close the bridge. I know. And so West Bay or Hathaway or the Bailey Bridge or the, the uh, DuPont Bridge or even out Clyde Wells at 331 yeah. on the Choctahatchee, they all shut down at 50. So if you're on, on Panama City Beach or South Walton, uh, or you are in an area where you have to use one of those bridges, and 231 then all of a sudden becomes blocked. Yes. Because everybody's heading north on 231 because of that. Exactly, and, and uh, that's why I wanted to mention and have you give us some backup. Uh, so far, we're keeping our fingers crossed, yeah. and uh, it, it's been, been looking, pretty quiet. looking quiet, <laughs> especially over there in the South Atlantic. The Atlantic right now, very quiet. It looks like it'll probably stay that way. There's one little uh, blip, if you will, that's showing up around the 4th of July. Now, uh, and perhaps in the early part of July, what's going to happen is a, a cold front, a late June cold front is going to huh. push all the way to the Gulf and then sort of stall out. Early season, that's kind of a point where you want to look at perhaps at the tail end of an old front as it dissipates, you may see a low spin up. It's not the genesis point for a major hurricane, but it, certainly this time of the year could be a spot where a, a depression or a tropical storm could form. And only one of the computer models that I look at is, actually, is even suggesting that. Everything else is not showing. One that. other thing I think people should be aware of is what kind of flood zone area they live in. Absolutely. Because uh, a, a lot of people don't even realize they live in a flood zone, especially Lynn Haven and some of those areas. Very low spots. And, and there are some, some, some sort of drainage tributaries and creeks throughout yes. Lynn Haven that are flood zones. And you're nowhere near the bay. I, I, that's what I'm zones. talking about. Yep. And uh, so. Uh, do we put out any maps or anything of that sort? On uh, on on WMBB.com, there there's you, you got to hunt around for it. Yeah. But we have maps that show the evacuation zones, which are essentially the same as the flood zones. Right. Um, but certainly go to the uh, to Bay County's website, mm -hmm. and uh, they have the clickable links. You can type in your address. Those types of things that show. Hey, am I in a flood zone X or C or A or whatever it is, uh, but FEMA is remapping again. Right. And so there's changes in that uh, as we speak. Well, see, I live on a on Mound Avenue, and we are 12 or 14 feet above sea level yeah. there. I, I live on a street that's about 20 feet above sea level. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I feel, but getting out of where I am, was, you know, there's so many trees. So you well, know. that's the other thing, because I used to live over on 11th Street, and that was and right off the marina, but it was way up on at least 12 or 15 foot elevation from the, from well, the Gulf. Well, the good thing about, um, you know, you had mentioned the new environment that they work in. I have all new weather equipment, I know. Uh, a, a weather system upgrade uh, to bring it up to speed with the, it's This is the same system the Weather Channel has, Right. exact same. So it is the best uh, equipment you can get today. It really is. You were demonstrating that you can pick up probably seven or eight radars from Tampa and right. all those uh, instantly. I have access to the most powerful Doppler radar network yes. and, and can show uh, all the way around the Gulf uh, if there's something out there, I have coverage of it right? Uh, in nearly real time. Uh, and all of these radar sites have had a recent upgrade from the government to become what are called dual pole radars, which means in the old days it sent out one beam and back. Now it sends out a beam, slices a storm and uh, sideways, and up and down. And you said it scans it up to... Uh, oh, it goes from the base of the storm to the top of the cloud yeah. and gets slices of that storm at, at, at and, regular intervals. And sure. then starts back over again. So yeah. you're seeing, that's how you see these heavy red, what we call... Right, and, and or just barely perceptible movements of air that could be the precursor to a tornadic development. That's what, yeah. And these radars are, are that 
uh, precise and allow for that information. And once I get it, you know, we'll deliver it, you know, directly to who's ever oh, watching. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and we've had so many close calls around here, you know, in the past where sometimes a tornado comes in, it drops here, lifts up. Yeah, our tornadoes are not like the Midwest where they're no. on the ground forever. Where no. Ours are very brief spin-ups, usually maybe even start as water spouts. That, I was just going to um, comment on that. And the, But feeder bands out of tropical systems, that's our my biggest concern in North Florida, is a landfalling system, say, over towards Santa Rosa Beach, and a feeder band's coming in that's got a, a wall of not only wind and rain, but these embedded tornadoes that are that are in the past very difficult to see. With the new radar system that we have, we'll be able to see every spin up that occurs. Right. Well, I know it's, it's uh, in many ways, yours is a thankless job. Somebody's always blaming the weather. Well, it's either, it's either. The Chamber of Commerce is, <laughs> look what you're doing to us. It, you know, and, and I under, that's part of my job, and I understand I that. You know, we have uh, nine counties across North Florida that, uh, that, you know, I give a forecast for. So if I say an isolated storm and it rains in Chipley and it doesn't rain in Lynn Haven, you know, the Lynn Haven say, hey, it didn't rain today, and, and it rains in Chipley, hey, it rained today. But if I say 100% chance of rain, everybody's going to get rain. And you can pretty much bank on that. Well, but that's it's like the other day. I left the house and it was sunny. I got over to Coin and Bullion Reserve and it was pouring down rain. That's right. <laughs> Just and, that close. And, and, and the sun, some of the cases, the, the last rain I saw, the sun was out the entire time it was raining. Yes. <laughs> At my house. What's important to know is that we just use what we do or what I do or any meteorologist does. Take all that information in, and then make your, your plan for the next day. And, you know, the seat of the pants meteorologist and, and as a as a nautical person, as someone who spends so much time yeah. on the water, you have such a, an organic understanding of what's going yeah. on with the weather, that cannot be understated. You, you know, hey, that's coming on, I'm getting out of here. Now, do you have any apps that people can download? Oh, yeah. We, 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 we love the fact now that we can push this radar to your phone. If that's you have a smartphone gonna... or an iPhone. Yeah, and what do they have to do to? You go, go to, the, to the, either the app, Apple Store, Mm -hmm. or to the, uh, the Google Play Store, you know, yeah. what used to be called the Android Market, and just type in WMBB Radar. Ah. And you'll see w one of the choices will be our downloadable app. Click on it, absolutely free. It goes to your phone. When weather comes out, if there's a, a local alarm, if there's a local warning, it will come up on your phone. Wow. Uh, automatically. Well, um, I, I thought those things existed, and yeah. I wanted to just give you an opportunity to explain how simple it is. It's, it's, it's so simple. It's, it's, the process takes a minute, and then, it, and then whenever you want to look at the radar, you just open up the app, and the radar is there, real time, just like you're looking at right so now. So if you're out in your boat, it's fantastic. You can see the radar. Yeah. And it will plot special marine warnings. Yes. It, it, anything that you want to be plotted, it can do. We also have a, 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 an app. It's free. Uh, called SyncBack, S-Y-N-C-B-A-K, SyncBack. Mm. That's also a free app, and whenever our newscasts are on, or if we're in programming that's wall-to-wall, -wall, if we're covering tor uh, hurricanes or something like that, it will put whatever we're broadcasting to TV, we'll broadcast to your phone. Okay. And you'll be able to watch our programming. So you can phone. see it live right there. Live on the air. That's amazing. Phone. And it's just so incredible how much technology has changed over the the years. Since I've been working in it, I started with dry erase boards and markers, oh, you know, and I'm, I'm not, you know, I've, I've, I've been around for a while, but I'm not that old, but it has changed light years. Ago. Well, listen, it's been such a pleasure. My Thank pleasure. you for taking your time and inviting me in to see this beautiful place that they threw me out of. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really, of course. I did retire. It is they good to have you nice back in the house, though. But I couldn't retire. It's too much fun. There you go. So, folks, Thanks again for watching us and be sure and tune in every week. Jim Wilson's FNN Fishing News Network. <laughs>